Good morning, WC viewers. Today, we're gonna be going to London. We're going to find a place to have some high tea, if possible, and then maybe explore a little bit of London. And then we have a dinner at eight. The, some, it's an Asian type restaurant at the tallest building in London. I think I would give this this Shanghai noodles 10 out of 10. Hey, Elizabeth, your props? I'd say a 6 out of 10. What was, what was the flavor? Was it spicy? 1 out of 10. What do you give your spring roll? 10 out of 10. I would give mine like an 8 out of 10. It was good. None of the focus. A side of rice. And, uh, Here with Traveling Roomies. Uh, no, Traveling Roomie featuring... No, no. WC Wonders featuring Traveling Room Me. I guess it's our new channel. <laughs> this is where we're gonna go with the news, right? Guess what? We're fusing. You guys are, it's over between you guys and it's over between you and me. 
we're joining. We're, we're bringing up with you guys. <laughs> This is the best Walipa you can get. Negative. The closest. Negative. She's single right now. You're not. Oh. Well, you still have to put a ring on it. Huh? Hmm? You still have to put a ring on it. I thought you were going to propose, Aki. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to propose on it. What happened? Ahorita vas a ver. I'm going to get a man. That we're gonna propose. <laughs> Are you gonna get the jumbotron on the <laughs> soccer game? Yeah, in the middle of it. Someone's gonna have a plane fly by. <laughs> you wanna a, banner. a banner. A banner at night. With dro oh, drones. No, she's gonna say Hey, pero di de tu vermouth. Okay. Okay, a que sabe? Mi vermouth? Send the message with a pigeon. Es este. No, it's not even, it's not even a Bermuda. Fernet. I ordered a Fernet, it's really strong. But it's supposed to be good for your stomach. It's supposed to be good for the stomach, but the way it tasted, it's it's kind of like drinking wasabi, but for the throat. It goes straight through and it sort of wakes you up, kind of. So I guess the trick is to add more ice cubes so it can dilute and it's less strong. So that's one thing. This is a Shang sh Shangila sh or Shangila at the uh, Shard building. The Shard building. <laughs> is it the Ting? The Ting restaurant at the Shangila. And uh, we had some Asian cuisine or Asian dinner. And our Asian Asian fusion dinner. So we had Asian fusion dinner. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna wake up to do a day trip to Windsor Castle, Stonehenge, and the Roman Baths. Everybody's gonna wake up at 4 a.m., get ready. And then after that, Vado is going to watch his uh, uh, FA semifinals game, Liverpool versus Man City. And he's gonna be at the Wimley with Dua Lipa. heading on to our third destination of the day which is the city of Bath down in the southwest of England um, that is about a one hour journey again we'll have a short walking tour and then you'll have some free time in Bath before we make our way back to London that journey back to London is slightly longer it's usually around about two and a half hours or so depending on traffic um, so, but that's at the point of the day where probably everybody is a little bit tired and it's time to have a little rest on the way back into London. Uh, the big question which comes up is usually what time will we be back? And as I was saying to those of you who were here earlier, sometime around about 7 or 7.30, if it's the middle of the 1800s uh, when Queen Victoria was on the throne and her husband, uh, Prince Albert, they realized, the country realized they had plenty of money that they needed to kind of <coughs> spend on something useful. Uh, and the idea was that these museums were free. Imagine you, you know, you don't have Wikipedia, you don't have an encyclopedia, you can't watch documentaries on TV, but you could work six days a week. And then on, uh, you know, on Sunday afternoon, you could go down to the Natural History Museum and you could see a stuffed kangaroo or, um, examples of animals from anywhere around the world so it was this very educational uh, kind of drive and they have remained uh, free ever since which i think is a, uh, a wonderful part of london um, of course not every museum in london free but plenty of the uh, the nationally run ones are 
as we make our way down a little bit more you might notice that there are plenty of hotels on both sides of the castles um, as they are tend to be multiple buildings within a set of walls and there is a town around the castle as well so there's a town of about 30,000 people it's not huge uh, but and it has grown up around the castle so let's think about a little bit about why the castle is where it is and how much history there is there in uh, in Windsor so we have almost a thousand years of history we can go back to one of the most important years in English history which is 1066 which is when <coughs> we come to the end of the the Angles and Saxons and the Viking invasions and things and William the Conqueror William of Normandy becomes our king so he's come over from the north of the duke of normandy from the north of france and he has uh, been crowned on christmas day on the 25th of december 1066 now in the 10 years or so after that period he has to cement his control over the country and one way that he does that is by building castles Castles were a new form of technology, really, at this point. There had been small fortified buildings, but they had, were nothing like the castles which were built in that period of 10 years or so after 1066. So you may well have already seen one of these castles, or what it has now become while you've been in London, the Tower of London, built by William the Conqueror around about the same period as the original uh, Windsor Castle. Now bear in mind that both of these and many other castles around the country have developed and changed a lot over the last thousand years. So the longest river which is entirely in England flows from near Oxford through Windsor through London out into the sea. Um, so we have Windsor on one side of the river, Eton on the other. Eton is the uh, you may have heard of something called Eton College, which is a high school, a private school, a boarding school. Going on the river and on the road, so they can go down the uh, down the Thames and then. Um, yeah. Is the boarding quicker way back down to the coach park? Part of the, you know, it's part of the, the street furniture of the country, uh, but a lot of them have been converted either into Wi-Fi hotspots. Um, some of them have cash machines, ATMs put inside them. Uh, some of them are lending libraries, so you could, people will go and leave a book and take a book. Um, some of them have plants growing out of them, so we're keeping them. Mm -hmm. Put up in 2012 for the Olympics. Uh, they don't have to be red, so they can be any, any colour you like. And you will also notice on the front of them, they will have a set of letters. This one has GR, which is for George Rex, uh, as in either the Queen's father, uh, would, would be the Queen's grandfather, actually, George V. You know, aim to be back five minutes before we leave, at least. They run free. Drinking loud. That's why I'm dreaming. Let me dream. That cafe. You know why? Because there are no saints. There's a cross with no Jesus on it. Like a true Parisian, look at Bravo. Bringing his Something little, big, yeah. what do you get? A mango smoothie bowl. He's trying to be healthy. <laughs> so, so he has an opposite stomach, so he's trying to eat something light. Um, and here we have Elizabeth. Great. So we are at the Windsor 
uh, castle, or not inside, but next to it. And we are just waiting for the time to get closer to 11. We're gonna be heading out to the Stonehenge after this. Uh, today we were supposed to be, on a normal day, you're supposed to be taking a tour inside Windsor, but because uh, it's East Good Friday, yeah. right? It's Good Friday. There's some event going on, so we are not allowed to go in Windsor Castle. Um, so, and then, you know, still COVID or post-COVID. No, I would say almost towards the end of COVID. And there's still a lot of restrictions going on that are lifted, but some places still have some restrictions, so um, limited capacity, right? But right now we're gonna enjoy our coffee before we head out. We stopped at the Black Sheep Coffee shop here and um, I guess we're just gonna relax for a bit and head out later so I got the almond croissant I don't know if it's officially called almond paste but there's almond flavored filling inside I don't know if you can see the granules of tastiness so definitely a good addition to make it extra flavorful yeah, have you tried your drink yet yes um, it's not as great as I thought it would be but Honey you, tastes different everywhere you go. You didn't put sugar, right? Mm -mm. Maybe that's why. Maybe. Mm -hmm. right. um, my drink is a Turin... Lot, no. Turin... Uh, oh yeah, it's a... Turmeric. Turmeric oh, latte. So I'm about to try it. Oh, it's really good, actually. Really good. The lid is not cl open, com I'm closed completely, but it has like a hint of ginger in it. Yeah, yours is like very bitter. But I did add sugar to mine, so maybe if you add sugar, if you add sugar to yours, maybe it would be better. I just put like two, two packets of brown sugar, so maybe you should do the same. Do you guys want to try my turmeric latte? Tiene a hint of ginger. Has a hint of ginger. No, it's traveling roomies. Okay. Tiene café? Sí. Y luego que hicimos Mira cuando tengas frío. I know. Ya no va a tener frío. Ya encontramos a Paddington Bear aquí. Por fin. <laughs> Nomás me falta mi hora, mi parents. <laughs> Afternoon. Right now we're walking through Baths in London. Uh, we are next to the Abbey, right? This is the Abbey in Baths. Abbey, 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 Abbey. Abbey. And then um, the Roman Baths are sold out, so we couldn't get to that. And then they have restrictions on how many people they allow because of the COVID. Uh, so. We just get to walk around and kind of see the town itself.
baths. We stopped at a little pub called the Ravens or something like that. Right? And Elizabeth has a cider. There you go. Ooh, what's the poster? We just got back from the trip. Now we're gonna eat some pizzas and then probably go for a nice walk after this and maybe eat later at night. Who knows? We'll see. So Sandra just got scared by a fox. By a fox or by, by a, a by a toothless a by a toothless fox. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra is all mad. <laughs> all right, so where are we right now? Where are we are at the Paxton pub? A ver, Sandra. Cuando digas fax, voltea a verme a mí, ¿eh? ¿El fax? Y para el susto, pues me van a dar agua con... ¿Qué te pasa? A ver, explica tu, tu incidente. Yo iba platicándoles sobre... Lo, porque ayer vimos un red fax y no sabíamos si era común o no. Entonces me estaba fijando, estaba leyendo. De repente que me llega un pinche fax. No era un fax, era mi esposo que me quería pasar. Sí, I don't know how that's funny, but... And it was dark, we couldn't see anything, and I was focused on my reading. Pegaste el grito de socorro. I did it. Elizabeth said, you scared me. <laughs>